Hey everyone, in this video we're going to talk about the user interface of Flash. Well, did I say Flash? For some reason, in the beginning of 2016, Adobe changed the name of the software from Flash to Animate. Well, the software is the same, both in looks and the way it works, but just the change in the name. So notice that in the forthcoming video, if I say Flash, it actually means Animate. They're both the same, but with a different name. So, let's get started. So when you open up Adobe Animate, you will be welcomed with this welcome screen. From the welcome screen, you can either open an existing document, you can create a new document, or you can get some help information. So, let's get started by creating a new document. Let's begin with Action Script 3. Click on it and it opens up a brand new document for us. Now, just like all of the softwares, we have a menu bar up here, okay? And then we have a huge drawing area. This is where we will create all the drawings that we need. In the left side, we have a toolbox. In the right side, we have properties panel. In the bottom, we have timeline. Well, now all these different panels are dockable, resizable, and movable which means if you don't like the toolbox on the left side, you can just tear it apart and bring it to the right side. When you want to place it in a, in a location, just make sure that you get this blue line and then you can drop it. Once you drop it, you can also resize it. Well, let's say I don't like the properties panel here. I can also bring it out and I can put it in a different location. If you want to hide them, you can just click on this double triangle and you can make it even smaller. By keeping like this, you can access it whenever you want. Just go click on it, it expands that panel. If you don't want it completely, you can also close it by right clicking and choosing close. Let's say you want to change the layout. We also have some preset layout. To get to that, all you have to do is just go up to this top right corner. By default, you will be starting with Essentials. You can go for Classic. You can go for Designer or Developer, whichever you like. So, let's say, for example, I go back to an Essential, but I made some changes. Now, you'll see that whatever changes that you're doing to this layout will be saved. If you want to reset the Essentials panel to the way it was as before, all you have to do is just go here and choose Reset Essentials. It will ask you to confirm, say yes, and then it resets the Essentials panel to the way it is it was before. Great. So, so apart from these commonly used tabs, we also have some extra tabs which are just hidden here, like the colors, swatches, and so on and so forth. To see all of them at the same time, you can also click on this double triangle that expands the, those panels. Let's say, for example, you have closed a panel by mistake. So let's say you got rid of the color and swatches ballot. You can get it back by going to Window and choosing what you want. In our case, let's say Color. So the color panel and the swatches will show up. That's the user interface of Flash.